morning. Welcome to the first lecture of safety and risk analytics. Today we will start module 1 basics of safety and risk and the lecture 1 introduction to safety and risk management. We will cover the following concepts hazard, accident, risk and safety, safety and risk management principles, elements of safety and risk management systems, utility of safety and risk analytics. Let me first introduce few terminologies which are part and parcel of safety and risk analytics. First one is hazard. What is the definition of hazard? The common man dictionary definition is to risk to put in danger of loss or injury. We will go by the definition given by military standard 882D. Military standard 882D. The definition is any real or potential condition that can cause injury, illness or death to personnel, damage to or loss of a system, equipment or property and damage to the environment. So, any real or potential condition that is the crux of the matter. When we are talking about hazard, we are thinking of work system such a, or a production system or a plant itself and we are looking for what are the potential conditions that can cause harm to targets, where targets are personnel, targets are equipment or property and environment. Then what is accident? Accident if you go by definition, let me see the definition of accident, we are saying an unplanned event or series of events resulting in death, injury, occupational illness, damage or loss of property, equipment and property and damage to the environment. So, actually it is basically resulting in death, injury and occupational illness to personnel, to personnel and damage to or loss of equipment and property and damage to the environment. So, if we consider the last part of the sentence like resulting from this to this and if we compare this with the definition of hazard, we will find out that the this injury to last part of the sentence this is same. What is the difference then? Difference is in case of accident, we are talking about an unplanned event or series of events. In case of hazard, we are seeing a real or potential condition. So, the real or potential condition converted into an unplanned event or series of events. Now, accident or incident is defined in this manner and this is the military standard 882 definition. When we talk about accident, we talk about an incident with significant uh, loss. When you talk about incident, it is all inclusive, undesired event even without any loss also that is also incident. So, incident is the broader set whereas, accident is subset of incident. Then what is the relation between hazard and accident? So, we can say hazard and accident are two sides of a coin. Before incident it is hazard, after in uh, after that uh, undesired event occurred that is incident or accident. So, two sides of a coin uh, are basically one side is hazard, another side is incident or accident. Keep in mind this definition and that is basically one of the important definition for safety and risk analytics. We will be looking after 
hazard, we will be looking after risk, we will be looking after accidents, something like this. Our sole purpose is we do not want accident or incident to happen. So, if we know what are the hazards present and if we can remove the hazards uh, or we can arrest the occurrence of hazards uh, coming out uh, to, to, to a situation when accident or incident can take place, that is the purpose of safety engineering and safety management. The another important concept is basically risk. I said that hazard and then I talk about incident or accident. Then what is the risk? Risk is nothing but it is a measure of hazard potential. Risk is nothing but measure of hazard potential. What is the amount of loss that that is um, available with a particular hazard that is basically the risk. So, risk is defined as considered expected loss or damage associated with the occurrence of possible undesired event. For example, you just think of a chemical plant, if there is an explosion, so what is the loss or damage due to explosion? So, that basically happening because of there are there are energies involved in the chemical reaction, uh, uh, different kinds of energies and those energies are basically when goes out of the limit, they will ultimately uh, lead to accident and so how much uh, hazard is there uh, that is basically that way quantified in terms of risk. So, then another one is the safety. Safety is nothing but the opposite of risk. As I say, hazard and incident are the two sides of coin. Then, risk and safety from the major point of view, risk measure the potential of hazard and safety basically inversely proportional to risk. So, I can say that risk, if I want to say that safety, it can be measured in terms of risk like this, one by risk or with certain amount of certain amount of uh, that certain polynomial kind of things will be there. So, hazard and uh, accident or incident and risk and uh, safety they are basically uh, comes together when we talk about hazard automatically you know that there is a chance of incident or accident when you talk about safety we measure in term usually we measure in terms of risk. So, what the safety managers do? Safety managers they do not want the accident or incident to happen. So, prevention of accident or incident that is the first one. Second, even if some incident or accident happen, then the loss or the impact or the consequence of those accident or incidents that should be as minimal as possible. So, that is called mitigation. Now, saying that safety manager's aim is to prevent accident and or basically pre or mitigate the amount of impact uh, that is easy. So, but doing it requires some kind of management of it. So, it is in general sense when you talk about management, we used to say that it is something like the functions of directing, planning, organizing, staffing, monitoring and control. So, there will be clear cut directions that what are the, the things to be done. Now, the things to be done, what things to be done that require a careful planning. Once you plan what are the things to be done, then there should be organization which will actually execute all the tasks or activities that are required to be done. Now, when you talk about organizing the things at the same time, the resourcing is also very, very important. Who will be doing these things? These are coming under staffing. And then once I know what are the things to be done, how it is to be done, and what is the organization of doing it and who are the key persons they are basically responsible of doing it. 
then comes question comes that whether the task or activities are done in planned or manner or not and that is possible if you have proper monitoring and controlling scheme within the uh, safety management uh, overall safety management scheme so these uh, functions uh, are further broken down in from the safety management system point of view and here we are basically talking about some of the elements like leadership and commitment then uh, able leader committed leader they develop the company policy and strate strategic objectives so that prevention of accident or incident is possible and as well as mitigation will be mitigation of losses will be uh, possible and then the based on the company policies and objectives so there will be organizational structure resource uh, I, I can say resourcing and obviously operating procedure and other kind of policy uh, documentations that will be done and uh, and all those things also require that the risk evalu evaluation of the hazard and evaluation of the hazard in terms of risk and proper risk management will be in in place and and it is risk management as i said that planning is a key issue so there are planning phase and then there are implementation phase there are monitoring phase auditing and reviewing phase so implementation monitoring auditing reviewing these are the these are the few uh, stages of uh, effective safety management okay and when you talk about implementation and monitoring then identifying activities and tasks monitoring what is happening recording what is happening taking corrective actions and even though if there are incidents so then you require incident reporting in follow up and whatever you learn based on the incidents so that is to be again take, uh, taken into consideration and finally what will happen finally uh, you you see that whether your safety management system is effective or not if it is not effective you have to redesign or revisit the safety management system and finally you uh, you, you again actually implement whatever things to be done and again you continuously go on improving and in that way it's excellent safety is a journey a safety excellence journey to be to be continued uh, with the help and also the continuous improvement path also to be followed now these things are happening what i told that safety management system is in place but even then if we look into uh, the major accident or incident statistic across the world and then you will find out that there the, the statistics are not um, favorable to say that we have done enough uh, so that the people at work are safe and they 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 are occupationally uh, healthier so if you see the statistics uh, some statistics so in worldwide ILO 2016 the statistics that more than 317 million accidents reported at work every year and with with 2.3 million death annually so you see the number number is very very high now if we look into the Indian context we found that even in the coal mines in India, in the first year, uh, the, uh, I think the five year statistics, 2015 to 2020, there are 309 fatal accidents with 363 people killed. So this is also, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very um, worrying number, so many people killed. And if you see the road accident uh, in India, so the figure is much old, 2.36 million road accident with 747,000 people deaths and over 2.3 million injuries in India. So it is not that uh, that globally the, uh, the statistics is alarming, even in India also the statistic, the, these statistics are basically not good at all. And we have to have some way of basically think, going for some new thoughts, some new way of 
managing safety and re, uh, safety and occupational health, managing safety and risk uh, at workplace uh, in particular is very, very essential. So, while digging into the problem further, we basically believe in one concept that IIT Khadapur, Center of Excellence in Safety Engineering Analytics, uh, and also the other depart allied departments who are working in this very important area, we believe that if we cannot measure something, we cannot improve it. Like what Lord Kelvin said, that if you cannot measure, your knowledge is of measure and uh, you know very little of it and you cannot improve it. So, then we thought that, okay, in order to understand whether the safety and risk management system is effective or not, what are the traditional indicators that we consider? So, I found that most of the times we consider fatalities, lost time injuries, medical treatment cases and first stage cases. Now, these indicators talk about the, about the tip of the iceberg. Com if I compare that the, what is the safety and risk issues or hazard and accident issues in any plant, then if we consider only these outcome statistics like fatal number of fatalities or lost time injuries or medical cases or first stage cases, then you are basically measuring the tip of the iceberg because these are outcome indicators. So, outcome indicators will not talk about the complete health of the system, safety and risk management system. It talks about something which is, which is otherwise um, at the tip of, in, in the tip of the iceberg. That is what is basically we want to tell you. So, then, then uh, people understood this and then people started finding out that what are the other things that can be measured, then ultimately unsafe acts and unsafe conditions, these things are measured. The history is long, 1930s, that Heinrich model and thereafter many models, safety management models uh, that have been developed, uh, starting from Peterson total model uh, or that Jabetakis energy model, so many models have been developed and finally we found out that more and more uh, that some kind of uh, indicators are also considered, but even after considering unsafe act, unsafe conditions and having some amount of database on it, uh, isolated database in the different uh, companies or different organizations, but even then what we are, uh, we are saying that it is not the totality of the problem, it is also just little more than the tip of the iceberg. Then uh, we basically, the, the safety community, safety and risk community, they are thinking that what more could be done so that, that we, will, we will be able to know that actually from safety point of view, from the planned safety management point of view, from the workplace safety management point of view, from the design for safety point of view, from behavior based safety point of view. So, from regulatory law and enforcement based safety point of view, environment based safety point of view, so many things that uh, where, where are we? So, and how to improve it further? Then as I told that you, you require new thoughts. So, we are in search of the safety researchers, safety community, they are in search of new thoughts. And those new thoughts and how those new thoughts can be incorporated in de designing and developing safety and risk management system is what the subject is. In this subject, we, we, we want to tell all of you that what are the new things that you can do over the traditional things what you are doing so that you will be able to measure uh, more uh, and, 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 and the total safety problems can be captured proactively, not reactively. It should be captured proactively. So, then in search of that new thoughts, when we progress further, we found out that 
because of the re fourth industrial revolution as well as the society 5.0 that industry 4.0 and society 5.0 this kind of te techniques technologies and tools these are already developed so this gives such both the challenges one is that it changes the work system production system workplaces and uh, 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 partially or entirely and at the same time it it give it has given us enough tools and uh, opportunities to improve using those uh, industry 4.0 or society, society 5.0 uh, tools technologies and techniques then we we basically try to understand that how the industry 4.0 and society 5.0 tools techniques and technologies can be uh, amalgamated into the traditional safety management system so that the analytics based safety and risk management system can be developed now some of you might be knowing that what is the uh, basically um, that analytics based uh, system then as we are basically interested in safety and risk management so what i we are basically saying there are three verticals here one is safety and risk these are very much overlapped interrelated things and third one is analytics so how we can understand safety risk and we bring analytics into safety and risk management uh, system design and development and implementation including performance evaluation and monitoring of the same and then you see that out at the outer of the periphery of this uh, diagram we have enlisted many tools technologies related to industry 4.0 and some society 4.0 like virtual reality augmented reality artificial intelligence machine learning internet of thing autonomous robots human sensing technologies data analytics decision model cyber security simulation epidemiology to name a few there are there are more so how can you use this this kind of opportunities and 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 develop the safety and risk management system so that is the issue and that you all will be learning in this 12 week lecture we will be more focusing on the analytics of it and with the hope that you have uh, some idea about safety engineering if you someone if you are not at all aware of the safety engineering i request all of you to go through my another nptel lecture on industrial safety engineering industrial safety engineering which is available in youtube and you you can you have to just see the first few lectures from there you will get more of what is safety engineering and then this lecture uh, you will be able to grasp very easily here we will be focusing more on analytics how analytics can be used in safety and risk management okay so then i want to tell you what is analytics actually this analytics if you see the development of analytics then you have to go back to the business analytics when in uh, devenport in his book uh, analytics the the science of winning i think that is basically the uh, title devenport at all they have written in order and they have shown that in the business domain that using data that what the uh, the benefits the companies are, are getting so that mean the companies in the business in their business model companies who have adopted analytics assimilated analytics into the business model they were the winners so thereafter what happened from business to other domain like industrial analytics now many quality analytics healthcare analytics so different domain uh, the analytics uh, are used and they are giving bottom line results the biggest advantage of analytics is that you if you can have the database data then ultimately you can find out a right kind of information and 
you can take right kind of also you can find out right kind of insights so interest another interesting part of the analytics is you can understand what is the past and what is the present and what is the future in terms of the domain uh, for which you are developing the analytics for example in the safety domain what do you want we don't want accident we don't and want any wrong thing to happen so the ultimately we want people should be safe so then from information point of view the past what happened that we want to know present what is happening now that we want to know future what will happen means if we do not do anything what uh, anything extra the present way we are performing uh, maintaining the managing the safety safety of the plant what is going to happen in the future so that means extrapolation so what happened why what is happening now what will happen then report what happened if you do this is basically some kind of reporting you are doing what is happening now this some kind of alerts or warning and what will happen extrapolation so that you can take certain decisions so that if you the what is going to happen that is not satisfactory you can take action so that the wrong thing will be eliminated if you want to go further so you want to develop or uh, draw some insight the questions basically the analytics will help you to understand how and why did it happen in past suppose in the past there are 10 accidents have taken place now inside means i have, i want to know why those accidents have taken place or in the past uh, you have found out that some workplaces uh, they were not uh, properly managing the safety protocols then you want to understand why that has not taken place so these things are done through modeling and experimental design then for present basically what you want what the next best action what action you should take now so that things will be correct nothing will go wrong then this is recommendation and you also will not allow the war situation to continue and becoming even worse so so or further worsen the thing so what you require you require to find out what could be the best uh, that course of action or if i don't do anything what is the worst is going to happen so this is basically another uh, insight what is the best or worst that can happen so here prediction optimization simulation in the process i i i said many things that reporting ext alerts extrapolation then modeling experimental design recommendation mean prescription then prediction optimization and simulation and all those things so the, see there are two things we talk about what objectives you are going to achieve what are the objectives you are going to achieve as well as what are the different modeling and techniques that or the, that you are going to use so this one we have taken from again the devonport book uh, that analytics at work and uh, we basically we have not done anything uh, any modification here it is as it is we have taken from the devonport uh, that analytics at work Devon put at all, at all. Okay. So now uh, I will go to the next slide. Now we basically we want to further augment the analytics issues. So what I have described in the previous slide, I have described what happened, which is basically hindsight. then i we also said why happened this is basically insight then we say what will happen when and why that is basically foresight and then also we discuss what actions to be taken this is basically that prescription and these things that these three few things that hindsight insight foresight and prescription they are very that when we talk about hindsight and this is coming under descriptive analytics when we talk about insight this is diagnostic analytics when we talk about 
foresight this is basically uh, this is basically predictive analytics when you talk about what best actions to be taken this is prescriptive analytics so this is well known now in addition people are focusing on cognitive analytics that means the 360 degree view of the enterprise here if we talk about a plant from the plant 360 degree view of the plant from safety and risk management point of view then that is basically cognitive analytics for safety and risk management means what i mean to say here that that means the, the the enterprise is analytic driven the, the every action are analytics driven people are aware of analytics they are communicating with the with the indicators with statistics and the feedback mechanism everything just like a nervous system of a human body the same manner the 360 degree actually have a view of the problems safety and risk management problems with reference to data with reference to insight, with reference to, to hindsight, foresight, and your prediction, and your ultimately all those things are happening today. So, this kind of organization are basically known as Delta, D E L T T A. Delta means data, E means enterprise, L means leadership, T means uh, target and T means another T is technology and A is analytics. So, that means enterprise, leadership, these are all data driven and if in the safety domain, you, you, we can have this kind of delta, delta organization from sep, for safety and risk management, then 360 degree, uh, I can say view when everybody is included in the and, and as up, uh, I think that after Piper Alpha case, uh, you have seen that it was said that safety is not an in, in intellectual exercise. It is, it is basically uh, some of the contribution of everyone in the plant or in, in, in any organization. That is basically Sir Appleton, he basically commented after the Piper Alpha, probably based on certain inquiries. So that means if analytics can do many things, these are true for safety and risk management, true for quality, true for supply chain, true for business, true for healthcare, these things are possible. So the, how these things can be made possible in the safety and risk management domain is the issue in this particular subject. Then uh, I will just explain something like when you talk about that analytics. Uh, driven safety and risk management system. So, this we are saying the modern safety management system which is uh, basically developed over the traditional safety management system by IIT Kharagpur. Uh, we, we have taken the traditional that uh, concepts as well as what we have done, we augmented the those things with the uh, use of industry 4.0 uh, tools, technologies and techniques. And uh, these uh, these are basically listed in certain order, but it need not be that uh, this you have to do first and then the second. No, that is not that not that order. But these are the twenty elements. One is micro hazard mapping and management. I will discuss it uh, in the next lecture. That what is hazard triangle? Then safety connect reconnect supportive safety organization, positive energy isolation, safety standard, incident investigation, HAZOP, contractor safety, commitment values, mechanical integrity, I can say asset integrity, this also we can write asset integrity, capability, training capability building and all those things are a traditional safety management you will get and then ultimately the issue is that alignment to industry 4.0, then safety analytics, then integrating safety into business plan. These are the few new things uh, we have added, but our focus is primarily this one that how safety analytics, safety and risk analytics can be used in the in, in basically preventing accident or incident at work in particular. In general, the concepts whatever we will be discussing 
will be applicable to uh, uh, to uh, other uh, not uh, not only that safety and health related uh, uh, that problem solving in the plant it can be also in the public sector for example even road safety you can use this concept okay now i conclude this by saying that this is the first lecture and here i tried to tell you that some of the key tool key terminologies like hazard accident risk and safety then very uh, i think can say briefly that safety and risk management principles in terms of what are the different elements uh, traditionally and then what are the different elements of a modern safety and risk management system and in the process we also revisit that what actually uh, what way the safety and risk management uh, has management has been practiced in industries and then there we found out that there is still a huge path uh, left uh, basically to be explored uh, and that is possible if we use uh, the modern day uh, that industry 4.0 society 5.0 techniques technologies and tools and that i have discussed and i have shown that that how safety and risk analytics uh, will be useful and what are the utility in terms of uh, descriptive predict uh, predictive uh, prescriptive predictive and cognitive analytics point of view so if you if you want to know that the basically the content i have already given circulated in, in my first lecture i uh, introductory lecture i will be told you uh, the contents are already available in in a pdf format in the in in the particular unptl site and but please keep in mind it is basically data analytics for safety and risk management and it is basically i can say that domain analytics that kind of thing and the domain is safety and risk management i want to give you some references that we have used for in the preparation of the lecture material first one is uh, one of the project uh, safety analytics safe people at work uh, that report we have considered in the preparation and it was a project funded by government of india as well as a large industry still industry and then uh, we are using uh, that basically the industrial safety engineering in ptl course uh, many concept, concepts in between and then another another uh, that website we have given from HSE uh, some of the concepts we have borrowed from this and also uh, we basically used in preparing the slide that last one that Marhav Bhailas at all risk analysis and assessment something like this more or less what I wanted want to tell you that that the first uh, first that uh, that resource that is unpublished project report and uh, then the uh, website uh, that our industrial safety engineering that uh, which is free available freely on youtube these two things are common in the preparation of the future materials also but you need not require to have this this particular project available to you because it is not needed the mostly the concepts what we have adopted from this it will be clearly understood based on if you follow the lecture in different lectures different kind of references we will be giving you and you have to follow this subject is a such a subject where you will not get much of the references okay so thank you very much for your patience and kind listening to the lecture wish you all the best i hope you will enjoy a lot and this subject will give you a new way of looking into safety and risk management either at industry level or at the public domain thank you very much